Let's move along a little bit. I'm still stuck in Elo Hell. It'll be a surprise to nobody. The Iron Maiden is going to be here to save me from Iron 4. Medic, please take us to the clinic and tell us all why Rel is undefeated in the LEC. Yeah, I can tell you about Rel. Can't talk to you about that rash right now, but we will talk about that later, Trevor. Now, around the world, Rel is starting to make a name for herself as a very strong situational support. And in the LEC, she's the only champion that's been played more than five times and still has a 100% win rate. After only being picked up once in week one, Rel jumped up the support priority charts and was actually picked in the last four LEC games. So what makes the Iron Maiden such a powerful pick? Well, let's have a look at some of her mechanics and why she's risen to prominence in the LEC. First off, her passive, Break the Mold. It allows Rel's basic attacks to steal 10% of her enemy's armor and magic resist for the next four seconds. Now, I know what you're thinking. 10%, come on, Medic, it's not that much. We're talking like 50 armor magic resist in lane. She gets an extra five armor and magic resist overall. La di da, big whoop. Well, think of it this way. If you're Rel trading into Leona at level three, Leona uses her W, Eclipse, and it gives her 20 bonus armor and magic resist. You jump in and you auto attack her one time. Leona's armor drops from 72 to 65, and her magic resist drops from 45 to 40. Alongside that, your armor, Rel's armor, and your magic resist go up by the same amount. So now, instead of being at a disadvantage in terms of tankiness, you're actually on a relatively even level while only having to use a single auto attack to mitigate Leona's W. Compounding this, if Rel also attacks the enemy bot laner, she steals even more armor and MR. In a trade like this, Rel has stolen about 10 to 15 armor, 8 to 10 magic resist, and in total, that's 400 gold worth of stats. This is the key reason we're seeing her picked into melee supports like Leona, like Nautilus, because she has so much power at negating the enemy's tankiness. Now, on top of her passive, Rel has incredible zone control when it comes to fighting. Whenever the enemy team is grouped up, you can use Crash Down, Attract Repel, and land on them and get multi-man stuns and knockups. And it's not only applicable in lane, it also is applicable when it comes to team fighting. The zone control you get when you get to an objective first and you can make the enemy clump up in small choke points is so powerful because of Rel's ultimate magnet sword. We'll have a look at this from the Rogue Vitality game. You can see Rogue are getting Vitality funneled into this choke point. Rogue go for the initial engage, can't get anything, and Trimby notices Vitality are all in this small area. Trimby is going to jump in, use the Magnet Storm, flip comp in, and Vitality don't have an opportunity to reposition and ever take a good fight, so they end up losing it. Now, even though Trimby dies, the amount of displacement and time he has bought for Rogue mean that Vitality just have to run away. Now, when teamed up with some zoning control teammates, Rel has so much disruption and power in team fights. Things like the Oriana Shockwave, the Cataclysm from Jarvan, even Kaiser's ultimate. You can use Rel's E when Kaiser dives in to get a guaranteed stun on the back line. It makes it almost impossible for enemy teams to actually play fights effectively. In terms of itemization, Rel players are looking for armor, MR, health, move speed. I love Shirelius. It gives you upfront move speed and allows you to position well in team fights. You can also go for Locket for some natural tankiness, and it definitely helps when fights are going to go a little bit longer. And also, Deadman's Plate is a good early option. It gives you a bit of movement speed, and it's actually cheaper than the other two because it's not a mythic, so it gives you a small power boost earlier in the game. Rel gives you laning power. She negates the enemy's tankiness, provides incredible disruption in team fights. She doesn't fit well into every composition, and she will struggle into ranged support matchups, but she's definitely rising to prominence as one of the best supports for the current meta. Now, speaking about other supports, I just, I'm just going to take a second. They don't know I'm going to do this. I want to talk about items. You know how many times a support has bought a mythic and a legendary item in the LEC this split? 14. 14 out of a possible 50. That's 28%. You know how many times AD carries have got them? Every single game. AD carries over here getting four legendaries, stocking up and then complaining about the fact they're weak. It's 2021, AD carries suck. No, they don't, they're great. And then you have these Moonstone Manures, Star for Flowing Water, top laners coming in and stealing our support items, they're mine. You're just trying to short my stock. And then I've got a message for you guys. Look, supports, listen to me, hold the line, hold the line. We've got diamond hands, we're going to the moon supports, okay? Hold the line, keep the items, keep the items.